watching KCAL 9 News at noon. It is National Dog Day, ladies and gentlemen, hence the dog that Sandra is holding here. And your pet friends should be looking their best. Oh my gosh, so cute. You're coming home with me. You may recognize him. Marco Lalau from the Bravo show Groomer has, has It is here with us this afternoon. Also joining us today, Michelle Harris from the show Alive and Well on the Ion Life Network, and they're gonna hear, they're gonna show us some easy pet grooming tips that we can do at home, right? Yeah, absolutely, Sandra. Right here we have uh, Pow Pow. Um, Pow Pow. Yeah, Pow Pow has a really thick coat, and um, what I'm using here is your basic uh, uh, Dyson um, that you can buy at home, but there's this grooming attachment that goes on to it. If you can really? put that on for me, I can show you how it works. Sure, stand by. So, you brush uh, Pow Pow here, and then as you can see on the brush, you can zoom in on the brush there, you release it and it sucks in all the hair. Oh, cool. So it's great for uh, households. You turn it off. Great with great with households that have uh, allergies. If you have allergies, mm -hmm. um, it definitely get all the the uh, pathogens in the air and whatnot from the dog and um, help keep these dogs groomed. So uh, how often should you use something like this? Well, for dogs Depending like Pow dog Pow here, probably like once a month, but okay. other dogs like Shepherds, Goldens, they shed quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You can use this once a week. I really? mean, it's a great tool to have at home, absolutely. And this absolutely. is just a normal vacuum cleaner with a special attachment on it. Yeah, but you have to have the Dyson to get this special attachment. Right. Um, it doesn't work on any other. The, the Dyson is actually uh, uh, my favorite. Uh, there are other ones out there, but this is, uh, this is really the, the best one, yeah. All right, what Absolutely. about short-haired dogs? Because I have a little rat terrier at home that I, I don't think I could this use the vacuum work. cleaner. Yeah, yeah. Is that considered a dog? Or a rogue? <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, you really want to use, a, you know, at Bubbles Pets, we use this little uh, curry brush. It's almost like a, a rubber brush, and uh, it will just get all the hair out without hurting the dog. You know, a lot of these can be a little uh, uh, too abrasive on the skin, so you got to be careful with that. You really want to brush all that hair out with a gentle rubber brush, so... I, I guess the the tool depends on what kind of a dog you're using, right? Absolutely, or, absolutely. Yeah. This Dyson in particular, the one we're using on Pow Pow here, is for long to medium uh, uh, hair dogs, you know. What about bathing dogs? How often, again, does it depend on the breed? Yeah, you uh, ideally, most dogs in general, about once a month. Now, uh, uh, a, a trick that I can tell your viewers at home is that you really want to make sure, at, at Bubbles Pet Talk, what we do is, not only do you bathe your dog once, you bathe it twice. So do a second shampoo, and what that will do is I'll remove all the oils from the from the dog's coat and then clean them way uh, a lot more the second time. So, oh, um, right. yeah, that's a, that's a good little tip for, for viewers at home as well. I guess the water and detergents will penetrate better the, first, the second time. Oh, yeah, it will last definitely a lot longer, a lot longer. And uh, all these dogs are up for adoption. Yes, they're from St. Martin's Animal. Except for this one I'm taking home. I know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This dog is up for adoption. Uh, but this absolutely. is Pow Pow, and this is Pumpkin. And we have a little camera shy, Cheyenne here, who's a beautiful Alaska Malamute. And these dogs are all purebreds, but they're up for adoption through St. Martin's Animal Foundation. And they really need forever homes, and they're so sweet. And one of the nice things that Dyson did was to give St. Martin's one of their tools so that we can groom the dogs because that helps them to get adopted much more quickly. I noticed that all these dogs are pretty calm too. You turned on the, the Dyson and, and there was no reaction. Nobody freaked out. You know, these dogs are a catch. <laughs> to be honest with you, you know, I would definitely uh, uh, adopt any of these guys. They're, they're great for, for homes, very calm dogs and uh, definitely a catch. Uh, absolutely. And it really helps with the rescues if they look beautiful. And especially in LA, we're so glamorous. Like you see, Pumpkin has a little bit yeah, of Yeah, I was going to ask her about that. Does she have pink ears? Yes, she does with an all natural dye. We didn't use any toxic chemicals on her. But this really helps people to see how beautiful they can be. Where do the dogs come from that are at St. Martin's? They're either rescues that are turned in or they're taken from kill shelters. And how many dogs do you have right now that are up for adoption, Michelle? Oh, uh, we have plenty of dogs. You just go to the website and check them out. It's stmartinsrescue.org. You, you have pictures on there we of the dogs? We have pictures of all the dogs, and we have great dogs of all sizes and shapes and varieties who need forever homes, and they're so precious. <laughs> they just want to love you. Look at this yeah. one. This is absolutely the sweetest little one. Let me put you down here. I know. Look at that precious baby. <laughs> look at the tail. And that's actually a teacup chihuahua. It's not going to get much bigger, big, really? bigger than it is right now. It's just going to stay a little How much does he weigh? You know, I don't even know. Less but than a pound. Teeny I tiny. I have bunnies, and that dog's smaller than my bunnies. <laughs> yeah, it's important to know, though, that it, it almost doubles their chances of getting adopted. And that's it's a great thing, like you're saying, is 
these dogs uh, have a much higher chance of being adopted once they're groomed, well maintained, and, and looking good. So. And Los Angeles has one of the highest euthanasia rates in the country. So we really need to adopt these dogs. Now. Well, I'm sure we're going to get some phone calls about these guys. You can find more information on the Bubble Pet Spa, also St. Martin's Pet Rescue, online. Just go to kkl9.com, click on Scene on TV. We have the links there for you. Michelle and Marco, thanks for coming in. We do appreciate it. Oh, good. Thanks, thanks for bringing all these little Thank friends with you. In case you haven't noticed, it's a scorcher out there today. Plenty of heat warnings and advisories out for the weekend as well. Rich will be back to give us an update.